I could make that. So I really want to make a guitar pedal for a variety of reasons. Mainly, I want to sound better without actually practicing more because, you know, practicing is time consuming, difficult, and I really don't want to do it. So that's not an option. Secondly, have you looked at the price of a high quality guitar pedal these days? To have as many features as I'd like in a single pedal, you're going to need to shell a couple hundred dollars at least. I obviously can't be doing this being unemployed and all. So if I'm going to make a guitar pedal, I don't want it to be any basic analog pedal you could find for cheap. I want digital features, like the ability to sort different settings and such. Now, as I do not know anything about discrete signal processing and audio programming, I'm going to avoid that whole mess. Instead, I'm going to make my own digital potentiometers for controlling an analog circuit. Essentially, I'm going to take an analog pedal, throw away the knobs, throw in a microcontroller, and call it a day. Now, why would I make my own digital potentiometers when I could just buy them? Well, have you looked at the price of those things? They're like $2 a piece. And that's way too much for me for a basic component. All in all, for this circuit, we're going to have an input buffer, preamplifier, three band equalizer, then the distortion phase, which is just going to be a bunch of diodes clipping the hell out of the signal. And then we're going to have an output buffer. As for controls, we're going to have bass, mid, and high to control the tone, as well as gain for the crunch distortion section, and then finally a volume control. We'll control these parameters by using an Arduino to generate a PWM signal, which will vary the light intensity of an LED. The LED, in turn, will control the resistance of a photoresistor. The photoresistor we'll just insert into the circuit as any other potentiometer would be used. Now, after you finish the design of a circuit and simulate it, in general, you should try to prototype the circuit on a breadboard or something like that. So I built the circuit and tried to get it to work. Unsurprisingly, it did not work in the slightest and instead almost made me go deaf as it would randomly produce horribly loud, ungodly sounds as if to remind me that I suck at electrical engineering. I found this quite rude and decided to say f*** it and just start soldering the final circuit together. The first step was drilling some holes for the larger guitar jacks and power jacks. As I do not have a reliable drill, this was quite challenging. But with completely unfounded confidence and an iron determination to get this working, it all began to come together quite nicely. Some initial tests revealed that, unsurprisingly, my circuit did not work. So I had to modify it slightly, add some pull-up resistors, and after a little while, everything started to work perfectly. Alright, so here lies our issue. So the PWM I was sending through the LEDs to modulate the photoresistors ended up really coming through into the final signal. So that was a major problem as, you know, that 470 hertz that I was producing with the Arduino was just loud and clear. In order to mitigate this, I decided to add a two-stage low-pass filter on every single PWM channel. And this kind of worked, but uh, it still comes through and I'm not going to deal with it right now. Too much of a headache. Fast forward many hours of soldering, accidentally branding myself, and crying, almost everything on the circuit side was finished. I initially was going to have all the components soldered to one board, but as there was a rat's nest of jumper wires, I decided to add even more wires and solder to the display and buttons on separate boards. Jumping into the code, it took a little while to create a program to control the digital potentiometers, but this is just boring code, so we'll skip it and... done! Or done-ish, I should say. I still need to make an enclosure for this, so I loaded up CAD and started designing. This actually came along rather quickly, but after I saw how long it was going to take to print, I decided to try it a different way. I started sketching out some designs on plywood I had lying around, but I have some pretty limited woodworking skills, so I wasn't sure how this was going to all work out. After spending a few hours trying to cut straight lines with the jigsaw, I glued it all together and let it sit for the night. In the morning after I had my coffee, I started sanding, desperately trying to hide my dodgy craftsmanship. Then, after a few coats of spray paint, it's time to start assembling everything. But first, I've just been looking at this and I realized that this is going to look remarkably bad. Unfazed by all of the poor design choices I made leading up to this point, I decided to continue anyway. Now, what we've all been waiting for, myself probably more than you, a final sound test.
Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions about how I actually implemented everything or want the full schematic, please let me know in the comments. See you next time.